everyone and welcome to episode 75 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Episode 75 it is and uh, last week my uh, good old friend here and uh, frequent viewer and moderator of this uh, YouTube channel in fact, Draco Socard reminded me that I was in fact born in 1975. So we're nearly the same age so we're celebrate. I don't know if we should celebrate this or if we should uh, enter some sort of a depression but I'm feeling good about it anyway and uh, 1975 back then there was actually a film that came out so uh, to carry on from the theme of uh, the Japanese theme, last week we did that Japanese house, remember? And Stephen Thomas, also a frequent watcher of this channel, he suggested Godzilla and so did another guy called APC7 or something. Uh, about 10 months ago, <laughs> I noticed in the channel he, he recommended, uh, after I did the Jumbo Jet 747, he said, how about a Godzilla? So finally, we're getting around to that one and uh, there is a bit of an another coincidence because in 1975 there was a film called Terror of Mecha Godzilla. Usually you say you're ahead of your time. I think I'm behind of my time because my keyframing skills would have been pretty good back in those days. So if I could keyframe the way I do today back in the 70s, I'd be a bit of a guru back then. So I haven't, uh, I don't think I deserve the reputation now of being really that good at Blender because I also saw some uh, crazy stuff. Uh, my wife came down, gamers level up by the way, you've seen her in the chat every now and then. So she showed me this video from Jan Sculps and uh, that's uh, when I got a severe case of the imposter syndrome thinking how come I'm even getting subscribers? Because uh, when I see what he's creating in Blender when he's uh, sculpting stuff with his uh, tablet there and his skills more of a, more than anything it's his skills and his experience. Whoa, I'm blown away. Maybe one day I'll get to that point but uh, there's a good reason why I do low poly and uh, I like the style and that's sort of what I know how to do. So I'm going to be sticking to that for a while. So just so you know, if you're watching this channel and you think, uh, oh, I wish I could model like this guy. Well, just know that this guy here is thinking exactly the same thing when I watch other people doing crazy stuff like that. So we're all in this together and uh, we're all here to learn. So you're going to catch on as well. And uh, my niche in this uh, sort of thing is to, to get, especially a lot of uh, people that want to get into modeling and want to get into making games. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, like launch a little platform for you guys. So you can uh, get started anyway, and maybe one day in the future you can model stuff like that Jan Sculps guy does. So if you haven't seen his channels, you should check it out to go and subscribe to him as well, because uh, he's uh, truly amazing stuff. You probably want to stay to the bonus material of this one, so don't fast forward now. Stay through the modeling process, and then in the bonus I'll do the usual rigging, but we're going to do some animations as well. And uh, just to make it, mix it up a little bit, I'm going to actually animate this uh, Godzilla guy walking down a street with houses and uh, just knocking them down, maybe shattering a few of them. So we'll see how that goes, maybe brings back some memories to that old uh, game called Rampage, Rampart, Rampage, can't remember. Uh, but you were like some sort of a creature that smashed up houses, so. Uh, this week I've been working really hard, well both me and Christian who's working on Line War, we're working pretty much day and night I was gonna say, but we're working as much as we can on this game. It's a real-time strategy game, multiplayer, and uh, this week we've been working on the haste modifier so all the troops can run and travel faster. You've got like afterburners for the aircraft, some smoke trails for the tanks and for the ships and everything. And then we've added the stuff like pipelines and de depots, 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 depot, depots, energy storage, let's put it that way, uh, that you can blow up. And we've added uh, a lot more stuff like um, AI and animations. So if you're interested in this game, you could do us a huge favor and uh, check out in the description, there's a link to uh, our Steam page where you can wishlist this game. So if you uh, like it or even if you want to support it, just consider adding that to your Steam wishlist. It'll help us out a lot uh, to get maybe noticed a little bit more. So I should promote this uh, game Line War of ours a little bit more. Instead of taking my top off because I'm feeling a bit warm, I'm going to crank open a beer. I spilled a bit on my keyboard, but that's okay. Bear hands. So with that said, let's set the timer here and I always cut this out, but maybe I'll put it in one day. Yep. Ready. Steady. Go Godzilla, here we come. Tab in edit mode. Hey, to select everything. Scale it down. Bring it up. And uh, we have to do the automator. And then uh, here, let's uh, figure out if we can do some legs. I need some more leg space. It's usually what happens to me when I fly an airplane because I'm too tall. E to extrude, R to rotate. E to extrude, R to rotate. Let's just make some weirdo legs here. A bit thicker here, because uh, he's got muscles. S to scale, E to, oh, he's gonna be bigger. Well, he is Godzilla, I guess, after all. Scale, E to extrude, S to scale. Okay, I have no idea what this is gonna look like from the front, but we'll find out. Uh, they've got like, he doesn't even have like elephant feet or something similar. So, 
Okay, we're going low poly, by the way, after last week's disaster. So, here. Uh, the back region, aka behind. There we go. And uh, should be... That uh, should be alright. Alright, let's extrude the tail here. Scale. E to extrude. Archer road. Oh, maybe side view. You on the keypad. <gasps> I've got no uh, screencast keys. Let's enable them. There, sorry about that. R to rotate, G to move. Okay, side view. That wasted precious time. G out to move and up after. Uh, scale, rotate, G, E to extrude, scale. And now when I do this with mirror modifier, usually it ends up wider than I wanted, so but it's not too bad, I guess. We could keep it wide. Control select there, scale them up to there. Okay, let's make the body now. Let's bring this out. Should I go all the way from there? I think so. E to extrude. I, maybe I should have looked at some more references. Uh, good, good thing. It's looked different throughout the years. And the earlier I go through the years, the more terrible he looked. So it was like a man costume then. Okay. And that happened uh, to be a little bit fat. So, G. Okay. Well, let's do arms here then. Rotate G. Does he have like small arms? Like uh, a bit like a Tyrannosaurus Rex or something? R to rotate. E to extrude. R to rotate. E to extrude. A little hands here. We'll do some claws, I guess. Um, not like Santa Claus. Sa claws. Um, e to extrude, S to scale. Scale, E to extrude. I'm just going to go low poly here. We know this. I'm not going to subdivide this thing. That'll make me look terrible as well. Even worse. So, maybe like this. Uh, it looks like King Kong now. That was another film, wasn't it? Uh, okay. Let's see. E to extrude, S to scale. G to move it in. We'll just do a head here now. Rotate. E to extrude. That's too small, isn't it? Scale. How am I doing? 7, 13. E to extrude. It's actually be better than I thought. Uh, or change it. Am I doing bullet time now? Uh, e to extrude. S to scale. R to rotate. S to scale. Control R. Should we do? Scale. I, he's got a smaller face, doesn't he? Well, that's like a giant beefy weirdo head, so let's shrink it. G, E, okay. Should put some sort of a mouth on here as well. Ooh, this could be a disaster. Could I, I'm not even gonna mention the name. You know who I'm talking about, the little blue character here. What What's going on here with his face? I've wrecked some polygons here, G. What? Oh, it's just too... F it's like a double chin or something. All right. I'm spending too much time on there. Uh, let's... Uh, I think I have to bring up his shoulders a bit. He's he's way too big at the bottom, top, I think. Old Z. Okay. Maybe I can uh, salvage this. So I've got a lot of spare time. Maybe I should have... Gee, that's a bit better. Hey, I'll have to move him up to there, I think. Old Z. Maybe maybe I can do proportional R to rotate. Scale it up. G do a little proportional magic here. Salvage. Okay, so we'll have to do some sort of a face here. And I've messed some vertices up here. Okay, off with proportional now. Let's have to let's have to. Can't even talk now. Stress is coming to me now. Scale. Okay, I'll have to do some eyes here. So maybe I'll do inset here. Can I do that? Eye to inset. Scale that down, but without proportional. Let's just do that. Okay, A. Let's make them darker, first of all. I don't know how what sort of a dark tone you should cover up some mistakes by going really dark. Yellow eyes, maybe. Let's do a mouth as well. G. Maybe we can do one that can open. So, I don't know how big the mouth should be either. I should come down. Okay, I have to have some spikes on the back as well. 435, I to inset. B for boundary, remember, so you get the center thing there going. And here I'm actually going to delete these. Am I? Delete. Faces. 
And then we'll move this one in proportional G. Scale it down, maybe bring this one there. And here I'm going to do something weirdo. I'm going to E to extrude this one all the way in. Now I've got clipping on, so that merges nicely in there. And then I think I should be able to press F here now. Okay, it doesn't work with the mirror modifier. Then we have to E to extrude. Okay, how should I do this then? Oh, okay, I'll have to cheat a little bit here. I can't cheat, can I? Okay, E to extrude. This is taking longer than I thought. Shift select these. M merge at center. <clears throat> 343. I have to do the spikes on his back as well. Okay, here I'll cheat. F to cut those. Here. Here. I should have done this differently. E to extrude all the way in. Shift select. This was better, I think. All right. I can fix this in post if necessary. F to cap that one. All right. That should do. Uh, I have to do some spikes in the back here now as well. Because he does have spikes, doesn't he? Spikes he does have. Maybe a little bit longer tail. E to extrude. That's the scale. You know the drill. That was my impersonation of a drill. Speaking of dentists, which I haven't actually spoke about. He should have teeth, shouldn't he? All right, these legs are terrible. Gee. The, the, I made him worse. Uh, 255. I still haven't done spice, but kind of have legs like that, can I? That, that This is like his most uh, significant feature, isn't it? His legs. Gee. And I'm like brewing them for him. Okay, should I have made slightly bigger legs? No, okay, I'll bring him in. I'll give him a little bit of a dent here. Like that. Oh, I haven't put any toes on either. 230. Okay, let's get, get him some toes as well. E to extrude, S to scale. I'll just do some spiky toes here. E to extrude, S to scale. Like the hands a little bit. E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude, S to scale. Okay. I'm feeling terrible about this now. Uh, they're too big, aren't they? E to extrude, S to scale. All right, never mind. Now, spikes. Come on, spikes. I need to do spikes. Stressing myself out for no reason here. Ah, uh, Q. Mm, mm, panic music now. Stop talking. Do modeling. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Spikes. I to inset. Uh, let's do them to there. Scale X. And then scale scale X zero, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty good. Move them in slightly. We'll do the us usual trick here now. Alt E, extrude long face normals. To there. Scale. Scale X zero. Okay, that didn't work. I'll do this one so they actually merge when I move them in here now. Okay, I've, I've done something stupid now. Uh, move it into the... What, what's going on here? I don't know what I've done, actually. Okay. I've only got one minute to fix this mess, whatever this is. I don't know what I've done here. So, Alt Z, let's salvage. Salvage mode, M, center. M, center. M, center. Ah, come on. M, center. There's better ways to do this, but uh, my mind is blank. I'm frozen. I'm petrified by the... The breath of Godzilla here. M, center. M, center. M, center. 40 seconds. M, center. Does it even gonna work? Uh, M, center. Alt Z. And then we'll just randomize these spikes a little bit. G Let's see. G... G, these are going to be big, long spikes then, I guess. Don't know if that was my intention, but that's what it was. 20 seconds to go. That's it. A little bit brighter on the chest. And there. G. G. That's it. Time's up. Ah, okay. Why did I make that sound? Dismiss. Okay. It's a low poly Godzilla. I have no idea about the look, the proportions, the size of the arms. Looks like he's gonna give you a giant hug. I think the arms are too big compared to the legs, but nah, never mind. Maybe it's one of those 70s style the costume ones. Am I recording? Yeah. I'm all over the show today. Let's have a beer on that one. 
Well, now the official 10 minutes are over. That means we can go into tinkering time. I haven't actually used that one long enough. So let's see, if this was our rough 10 minute model, what could we do to tinker time this one into a little better, better model? What would I refine if I would have had more time? AKA cheating. Maybe a little bit rounder here. Round that off. G, move that on in. Maybe this is like the equivalent of retopology when you've done like a, a, what you call it, a sculpting thing. But this is like just fixing up the geometry of a, of a low poly mesh instead. So it's not really retopology, re it's refining the topology. New stuff every time. That's why you're coming back to this channel. I was gonna say you learn new stuff every time, but I hardly ever do anything new. I always repeat the same old, same old. But, so what more would have we have done tinkering time? We would have given a little bit more pro like proud legs. So that's his key feature, isn't it? The, that's the whole Godzilla thing. And I think I would have made the <clears throat> these a little bit like more compact, because I think it's more like a elephant toes. Not camel toes, but elephant toes. Scale Y. Bring it in. Scale Y. I probably would have liked feet that are a little bit more like that. Did I make them worse now? So maybe something like this I had in mind. Like that. And we could have probably given him like a different color here on the top. Am I cheating now? You could call it that, but. And then this hand could have probably been a little bit neater. I'm not gonna, when I rig this thing, I'm not gonna do the fingers individually. So he's just gonna have to slap the buildings down with open palms. It's one of them slap contests. Okay, maybe it's something like that. And the back, I'm pretty... This looks like he's got some sort of... I was going to say pecs, but they're not on the back, are they? It looks like he's got some sort of a muscle. Muscle of some sort there. So... Maybe I could have done, uh, like, a loop cut here. Does that work? And then Alt-S. Maybe I'll do that for the, for the bonus content. We are going semi-high poly now. Should we do this for the legs? I think they'll animate a little bit nicer, so... Tinkering time, remember? Not cheating. Tinkering time. Gives us some uh, precious vertices here where it's going to deform on the legs here. Other than that, I'm, I think it's alright. We can flatten his feet here. One, control shift, select to there, 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 there. And here's a trick. Scale. Well... Oh, proportion. Did I have proportional on before? Is that why this messed up? Could be. Scale Z zero. And you have flat feet. How about that? Make sure you have comma and global on, or if you're in local, could work, but make sure you flatten on that one. That one. And then should we do the spikes slightly different color? Should we try it? I'll hold the control key. Whoop. To there. Let's see if the spikes maybe just give him a little bit more character. A little bit more character. Well, they should be darker, if anything, shouldn't they? Yeah, that's a bit better, I think. All right, that's our Godzilla tweaked, the tinkered, tinker-timed version of it. Now, let's rig. There we go. Godzilla. We could do one more thing, which I should have done before, probably, so I wouldn't have been cheating. But if I, I usually like to go dark in the mouth, like this, because it looks a little bit like fake shadow. Pro tip. From a noob. Okay. That's it. Now it's rigging time. Control S. So uh, this is uh, not much new, apart from there's a tail this time. So that's pretty good. Shift C, make sure the cursor's down here. Shift A. And should we rename this cube now for a change? Uh, Polyzilla is his new name. There we go. So, but it is the default cube, of course. That's where he originated from. His birth. Birth canal. No. Birth. Origin. Cheers. Okay, tab out of edit mode. Shift A. We'll add an armature. Single bone. Ooh, he's big. This is the biggest character I've done in a while. I've lost my train of thought now. <whistles> Viewport display in front. 
tab in tenant mode. Sh uh, there we go. Shift space G. So we got this little move thing. That's different for some people. Depend on. I've got the default settings here. So what I got. E to extrude. And we're just doing some spine bone. Okay. Need some alignment here. So should we do a neck bone and a head bone? Should we go all like high poly on the armature? Yeah, I think that could be done. E to extrude here as well. We're going to get a little jaw bone here as well. So P. Okay, Alt P. Disconnect. Oh, hello? Alt P. Disconnect bone. G. I thought something was moving. <laughs> it was me on the other screen. G. There we go. And then we'll do tailbone here. And we'll do... This one is already... No, it's Alt P. Disconnect bone. G. We can just start it from there. I'll try to match the vertices a little bit here, so... Okay, I won't go too detailed, because it's going to deform terribly anyway. Alright, then uh, we've got his uh, bear-hugging arms here. Let's do that. E to extrude. P. Okay, Alt-P. Disconnect bone. Just put it here. I'm going to go simple here. Simple. E. Simple polygons. Simple armature. Simple hand. Nothing fancy here. So, you could have done the individual three. I don't know if you call it fingers, but claws. G. All right, that's it. Let's look from the top. Make sure we're... It's a bit weird sometimes when you have the see-through because it looks like it's on top all the time. So you have to rotate your viewport like this middle mouse key. Let's see what's going on. All right, now we're doing the leg here. So, E to extrude this one. <laughs> okay. Slightly dodgy. G, G, there we go. But we need to connect it though. So connect it to the pelvis, control P, keep offset. Usually I'd forget that. E to extrude down here and we'll do the foot. G, E, G. All right, kneecap, there we go. G, G. All right, that's it. Then we do the usual stuff here. I'm actually gonna I might add another master bone today so I can move the whole character if I'm going to have him walk around. I don't know if I need that, but let's add another one called master here. And then we'll parent the root bone to that one. So select the root here. Control P, keep offset, that's it. F2, root, we'll call that on. F2, spine one. F2, spine two. F2, neck. F2, head. I want to eye blinking. Godzilla doesn't need to blink, does he? Uh, jaw. Had some sort of a message there. Uh, upper leg. Remember, dot L, super important. F2. Up, lower leg, dot L. And the dot L is important for the symmetrize thing, so you don't have to do this twice. Foot, dot L. Tail, one. Tails of the crypt. Tiles. T -t I, I can't talk and do things at the same time, can I? Tail. Did I do it wrong now? No. Oh, I. Oh, tail. Tails of the crypt. What am I going on about? Tail. Two. Tail. Towel. Tail. Three. How difficult can this be? Take me like 10 minutes to name these things. Tail. Trail. Tail, for God's sake. For Godzilla's sake. Tail. Three. Tail. That took a lot longer than it should have. Tail one. All right. Have I done this? No. Nope. Upper arm. Super important. Dot L. That was a bit unnecessary. Like a jump scare. Ah! Uh, lower arm. Dot L. And hand. Dot L. And we unfortunately have to do the immersed kinematics again for the knees. So or for the legs. So E texture that one. P. No. Alt P. Disconnect. Oh no 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 no. Alt P. Clear parent. Disable uh, deform on this one. F2, this is IK pole.l. And then E to extra this one. And F2, IK target.l. Same as usual. If you watch this, you know this. Deform off for this one. Alt P and clear parent. That's it. So we're starting to get somewhere. What? Why am I so. Oh, it's my English mates. Walking down the street and that. Godzilla bones here. Legs. Animating. IK. There we go. Just winding up again. 
the machinery. Now I nearly lost the train again. So we're gonna go control tab now into post mode, pause mode på svenska, pause läge, t-pause. And then we go inverse kinematics here, target, it's gonna be this one, ik target dot l. Pole targets, no surprise here, it's the ik pole dot l. Super funky, because we need chain length too, as usual. We need pole angle, I was gonna say 90, and if it doesn't work with 90, it's usually because I forgot to go front view, tab into edit mode, A to select all the bones, shift N, and recalculate roll on view axis from the front here. So now, control tab, post mode, if I do 90 degree pole angle here, you should face forward there. So that works when you symmetrize the pose. If you want to do a, a flipped pose, it's pretty good if the roll angle is like that. Maybe it's different in some cases, I don't know. So we need to do a couple more things here. Usual, we go into uh, the bone tab here, relations, we switch off inherit rotation. Because when we lift this leg, we uh, want to copy the rotation of this one. So I select it again, go to this one, the constraints, add, copy rotation. We pick the armature and here we're going to put the IK target L. And we have to go local with parent. I think I should be doing with parent instead of local space. I've done local space before, but I caught somewhere that uh, maybe local with parent fixes the rotations slightly when you're off axis. I'm not sure. And we're going to have to invert. Let's see which axis is axis. And I always forget. We're going to have to invert the X and the Y axis, the green one there. So select again, invert X and Y. And now when we rotate this bone, the front part should go like this. Rotate on the Z axis, that works. And rotate on the Y axis there. It works too. Rotate Y, is that correct? Yeah. So now finally we're ready to go uh, tab, control tab out of post mode, tab into edit mode, select all of them, F3 and do, I've already typed it before. So symmetrize because I do it so often. And now we've got a symmetrical thing here going. So control tab, post mode, and now we should uh, control S to save. Save frequently, otherwise you might lose your work. And you have to redo it. And usually the second time you do it, you hate it, but sometimes it turns out better the second time, believe me or not. Sometimes it's worse though. So control, uh, now we need to s select the Godzilla here, or Polyzilla, shift select the armature, control P, and do with the uh, armature to form with automatic weights. And control tab, G. There we go, we've got pretty decent deformations there on the leg. What? What? And let's see the tail. That even works decently. Woohoo. There we go. How about the upper body? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Thank you, Blender, for being such an amazing program. This is incredible. How can this be free, first of all? How can it be so good? And how can so many people contribute to a project like this and still make it so good? I have no idea. Thank you. We're all lucky to be able to use this program. So here we go. Wow, even the mouth. That was pretty good. For being low poly, I've redeemed myself maybe. I'm tempted to go control two now to do a subdivision modifier, but that'd be like flushing myself down the toilet. So this low poly, this is the way it looks. This is low poly Godzilla. There we go. Maybe it's not that impressive actually. <laughs> so maybe I'm just tooting my own horn here. There we go, all cheat. But everything looks pretty good, I think. So now let's do um, some animations. First of all, I have to put some buildings up that he needs to smash. So they're gonna be low poly, of course, and super rudimentary. Is that even a word? Rudimentary? No, rude is. All right. Control S. Oh, do you know what? To celebrate that 1975 film, since this is episode 75, and I was born in 1975, and that was a Mechazilla, which is a robot version. Let's do this. Let's go Control Tab, select this one, and we'll do Polyzilla here. Shift D to duplicate him, hide Polyzilla, and here we'll do okay, Mecha, Mecha. Mecha poly Mecha poly Zilla. So if you wanted to do uh, some like whoa, okay, close the whole collection there. So now we could do three to go in well, tab into edit mode, three to go to like this face selector. Shift select one of the larger faces here. 
and do shift G and that's select similar and we'll select stuff with similar area here and then we can grab this slider and go up a little bit it's not a slider but I'll slide it up anyway and the reason why I do this is because I don't want to do uh, lots of uh, small faces here on the on the face literally so I just wanted to select a few manually here where I want the armor plates now the metal armor plates maybe foot maybe it doesn't need I'll do one big on the foot after I think like that should do and we don't want it on the on these uh, spikes so I'll manually deselect these I could have just done the whole thing shift G was a bit uh, unnecessary now I see but never mind there could be I should you have one well, I'll do one plate on the front so if I wanted to cover this now with plates I think that's pretty good maybe it doesn't need it under here under the tail that's protected anyway so maybe something like this now that's a bit loud uh we do alt e extrude individual faces just a little bit like that and then period and do individual origins and then s to scale these down and then now you've like created armor plates so well it's sort of maybe too symmetrical and too big of a plates or too small plates i don't know but you could do it this way and you could change the color maybe you'll go Let's see, these are selected now, the actual plates. So if I offset these, I can actually keep track of which UVs these are. Because if I go control plus now, then I know that these UVs that just came here are the interior. So if I can like drop them down to make it a little bit darker. So a bit of a quick way. And the good thing about this one with the robots, mech, mecha, mecha, what did I even call them? Mecha polyzilla. Okay, sounds like polyfiller. <laughs> Been renovating too much. But now the, this should still work so control tab g and that it, it doesn't look so good because oh this is nearly like the plate armor that uh, samurai another uh, japanese thing there so this could be a samurai mecha samurai samu mecha polyzilla but uh what i was trying to say they deform a little bit so it wouldn't be so like it wouldn't be like real armor but uh, i guess if it's like um i don't know some bio armor of some some sort it would work so there we go. Does the leg work? Yeah. <laughs> Make my own sound effects now. Terrible. All right. So, but we'll switch back to the other polyzilla here. And uh, now we'll do Control S to save it. Shift A. We'll do a mesh uh, cube. That is one tiny cube, but it's like the default cube. Tab. Okay. I want to copy. Itch my nose again. For the first time again for the first time shift okay select this one shift select this one control l and do materials make link then that brings up over the material thanks whoever taught me that a while back scale zero on the left here to bring uh this we're gonna do uh, like a dark city here hold the control key snap that down a to select everything scale shift z to not scale it on the z axis maybe 10 times okay that's the smallest world i've ever seen scale shift z 10 times that's a bit bigger that's big enough for what we need i think so i'm just going to do like a little like a little segment here a little slice of reality which is actually not reality it's fake so shift d duplicate scale it down and this godzilla now is big remember so i'm gonna go buildings how big should they be like is this a good building size is that too tall i don't know how tall he Godzilla is. I'm gonna make them very simple though. So maybe I'll do like this and then E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, and then we'll do Shift D to no, I won't actually. I'll do I to inset. Maybe I want him to I don't know if I want him to smash the whole buildings. Maybe I'll leave like the bases. So I'll do shift D here instead and just make him smash the upper parts. Maybe that'll look a bit better. So that I have some like ruins left or something. No, let's smash the whole buildings. He's strong. He's big and strong and he's okay. So how should we do E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude. And then we'll do I to inset here. But now the building's too big. Okay, I to inset, E to extrude, 
because I want them quite small. So, he, like, he's big, so he should be towering up over these buildings near enough. So, I tin set that on. I need to extrude that on. I tin set, need to extrude. Maybe, like, that's a building, I don't know. Gee, I'll just make, like, silhouettes of buildings. Oh, no, I'm not going to duplicate that one. So, shift D, scale it down. Let's just not spend so much time, shall we? Scale. I just have to make something. Something we have to make. E to extrude. Else select linked G. Maybe I should do like a few copies of this first. So shift D, scale Y, save us some time in the long run. L, shift D, bring this one in a bit, out a bit. Control R, let's just go a bit crazier. Control R here as well. E, and then I to inset maybe, E to extrude. I'm just gonna do like a, a road here. Control R, I to inset, E to extrude. We'll do like one tower here that's a little bit taller maybe, like this. So, okay, that could do. Maybe we'll do like a design feature there. That's it. And L, select link, shift D. So this is just to represent houses, of course. Scale, shift Z. There we go. L. Maybe we can do it a little bit taller here. So that's it. And then we'll do... Should we do some on the other side here as well? Shift D. Control R. Did I not do control R? E to extrude. I to inset. E to extrude. E to extrude. L. Shift D. I'll just do a few copies now. If I can move it on the right axis here. Shift D. Shift D. Shift D. I'm just going to have him walk down here a few steps. I can't make the animation too long. It'll take too long to animate. I'll just do something simple here. Slightly different dimensions of the buildings and slightly different heights. Low one here. So we can see through maybe. See through. I'll just animate the camera going down here as well. Height inset, E to extrude. Should we do like a tower here maybe? E. And then control R. A little front on this one, should we do? Control R. E to extrude. Control R. E to extrude. I to inset. E to extrude. E to extrude. A little slant on this one. Just mix it up a bit. E to extrude. I to inset. E to extrude. I to inset. E to extrude. I'll just make them as solid pieces because I'm going to fracture these with the fracture thing. Uh, control R. E to extrude. They're a bit far apart maybe as well. So. E to extrude, control R, E to extrude, I to inset, E to extrude, okay. I'll think I'll move these buildings a little bit closer to him as well. There we go. I don't want to animate too long, too far of a steps, so L, 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 move in. That's it. Control R, apparently not. I to inset, E to extrude. Control R, E to extrude, and slant. This one could do with some more interesting features, couldn't it? So we'll just do Control R and raise this one up. Control R, should we do this one a little bit fancy? So E to extrude. I don't know what's fancy about that. But it's different. There we go. So now it's time to have him walk a little bit and smash things up then. So I'll go to animation tab here. We have to switch this one to texture, shadow, cavity, both here. Slide it up so we recognize the look of this viewport here. There we go. And then we're gonna walk. He's already like a part in here. I'll just walk, a, like, do a little animation segment here. So, Control Tab, 
we're gonna switch from uh, the dope sheet here to action editor click on new and then do it like rampage rampart rampage what is the name of that game all right so let's do some uh, animations first then, and i'll do the fracturing after i think so i'll do uh, on keyframe number one here switch on automatic keyframing and then he's going to start from this pose as if he's like already walking and we'll do all to select a to select everything here, I to inset location and rotation bones for all of his uh, limbs and everything. And then here, I'm gonna go forward, maybe I'll just, uh, it's gonna be like a slow motion movement because he's so big and I'm not gonna be too fuzzy. There's a few principles I wanna apply here. So first, he's gonna walk over to this building and smash this one, I think. Or should he, yeah. So I wanna move this leg here forward. So just skip forward about 10 frames. And then I've got IK here, so I'll lift this leg up and move it a little bit forward, rotate the leg. And here's a few uh, principles that you should follow. And that's, he can't just lift the leg up like this as if he's suspended in midair. He needs to shift the weight and that's pretty important. When you do animating uh, stuff, try to keep physics in mind and balance. So there's like uh, 12 principles of animations from uh, Disney that they did back in the 30s. So check up on those and one of those are, uh, is referencing to uh, like balance, I think. <laughs> so shift as that leg lifts up he shifts his weight over to that side so we have to exaggerate it a little bit more and then we can even rotate this we can tweak it a little bit so this is probably going to look terrible don't claim to be a good animator so or a modeler or anything in that matter and he can maybe turn up here he'll fold the arm in so he doesn't i was going to say damage that building but that's exactly what it wants to do so i'll just tweak a few limbs here so R to rotate. I don't do IK for the arms really. So, and maybe the leg. I'll the leg. I'll animate the tail after I think. So ten frames in now. He's just shifting the legs over, and then we can move him a little bit forward because he's going to be moving forward at a decent pace here. Shift space G. So I get this little manipulator. So here we go. Pop. Okay, and then I'll just skip forward another 20 frames and let's pretend that he's actually put his leg down. So he's going to keep going forward to maybe here, maybe down a bit. I'll have to fix the tail after. And then we'll bring the oop, IK bone for the leg here. We'll just try to rotate the viewport. Rotate it into place and then plant it. Not going to be too picky. There we go. And then the weight shifts over back to this leg that he just stepped down on. The pull target comes in a little bit, so flip his leg. I don't even know which one's forward on this poor leg. There we go. So let's have a look. We'll scrub here. Palm. Okay, he's making a step forward. Maybe he can twist his body because he's going to like turn his face now into this building and see if this is the one I'm going to smash. So Z. Rotate Z. Rotate. I don't even have to be that picky. Look up a little bit. Aha, uh -huh. this is what I'm going to be smart. Okay, I noticed now that I should actually parent control tab of the, this jawbone here. I'm going to select this jawbone, shift select the head bone, control P and keep offset. So control tab, post mode. And now when I rotate the head, the jaw follows and then I can open it individually. So that's probably better. So because you don't want him to like do that every time he turns and since i didn't put a keyframe on the head here on frame 10 he's actually starting to turn the head already here uh, already here but sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't so just like keep that in mind that if you didn't have a keyframe here he'll start from frame zero here to rotate his head but that looks pretty good i think so he's come here i'm gonna come back and do the arms and the tail so let's scrub forward another 10 frames so we can pretend now that he's I'm gonna be resting on that leg. We'll move the pull target forward for the knee to point in this direction still. And then we'll take the root bone here, which is like his pelvis. G is gonna come forward. And then he needs to bring this leg with him, otherwise it'll be a bit of a disaster. So he's gonna lose his balance before he'll fall into that building instead. Where is this? Uh... Okay. What's happened to this bone? Okay, it's just trailing behind. That's okay. I just missed it. So what happened here? Okay, his... Where's his pole tart? Is it that one? All right. So sorry about that. 
hope it wasn't too painful. So he's going to be planting this one soon here, but it'll take a giant leap for mankind or for Godzilla kind here. And see, he's sliding the foot in, and that's because I did a massive mistake. I can't, I need the keyframe here where he's in this position. So it's an easy fix though. I can control C here. And then I have to scrub here and see where can he start lifting his foot. And he can't start lifting his right foot until he's planted his left foot. So right about here, I need to plant that keyframe that I just copied on frame 20. Control V. So he's already all the way back here now. Because he can't really move that foot now. He could twist it a little bit, but we can't move that foot until he's planted that one. But now we can lift that one. So, and then I'm going to... Like, do the steps about... So he's not allowed to plant this one until frame 20, roughly. Or 20 frames forward. So I think I'll move this one forward to about 40 here. And then we can actually plant it down. Rotate Z. Rotate. Take into account the curve there. Should have had some cars and stuff, shouldn't I? But it'll take too long. Uh, so now he slides the foot there. But that's uh, a pretty easy fix too. So between 20 now, I know where he started to move it and where he finished it. So all I need to do now is halfway through here, 30. I'll just put it in the air. So it'll take like that big step here now. And then I can also raise... Okay, so he, he should be here on frame. So I'll move this keyframe there. So he slides forward there. Boom, okay. Not the best of movements, but... It'll... And then he needs to shift the weight, remember? So he's got his left leg down now. So I need to shift his weight over to this leg now. So he should be halfway through here on 30. He should shift his leg weight over there. Or maybe to rotate G. He's got his tail as well. So we can keep that in mind that he can actually use that a little bit too. And then on frame 40 here... He'll start to maybe gain some... He's going to take one more step and then punch it with one of his arms. I haven't decided which one yet. So let's rotate this one back. Rotate the back. He'll start gaining some power. And then we can actually start animating the arm here. I haven't got any keyframes here. So that's pretty static all the time. But on frame 40 here, we're going to bring it back a little bit. To start gaining some momentum here. He can start swinging already from there, I think. So, let's see. There we go. And then he can twist even more, I guess. Rotate Z. Rotate. He needs to look at the target, though. Always keep your eye on the target. Point at your target, like you're playing badminton. If you're going to smash something down. Rotate. Rotate. So... I don't have a lot of keyframes in between here, so they'll start animating in, in good time. And here we go. Tweak the foot a little bit more. And now we're going to go in for the kill here. Should he rotate even more a little bit? Even more a little bit. So there we go. Frame 50 now. He's going to leap forward now. So we've got... This one was planted there, yeah. So frame 50. We'll grab the pelvis. G, move it forward. Rotate Z. He's going to go in now for the giant punch here. Rotate G to move that one up. And we have to move the pole targets with us here. So the legs follow along. You can do some constraints and stuff to help this out, but I'm not so good with that. I, I just usually wing it. That's the good, good thing. Low poly. So... I think we're going to speed that one up so he actually makes that. Okay, so we've got the sliding issue again because I need to plant the keyframe here. Copy it here. When can he start lifting his left leg? We'll see. And it's not until he's planted his right leg. So frame 40. This is where control V. I'll move that one back. So now it's planted. He comes there, but he slides it. So we need to halfway through here. We bring it up in the air. So we actually... Rotate it up. He's going to really step in now. And then he's going to start. Or he swings even more here. Oh no, that's on the next frame. So There we go. Okay, need to fix this a little bit more. Rotate. Rotate. So another principle for animation here. 
I'm not claiming to know these very well, but I know another one is anticipation. So before he does something, don't like just punch like this. Have him wind up. A few things to keep in mind here. The weight, so make sure he's in balance and that the weight distribution is pretty good for the object that you're trying to animate. Another one is anticipation. So before he hits or does something, have him like wind back or hurt. And then the next one that we're gonna do is follow through. So don't just stop when you hit the target, just follow through as well. So here we go, let's see. Come in here. I think yeah, he's stepping too fast there actually, even though I wanted it's twice as fast, so it looks ridiculous. Uh, so we have to select, I'll do all A to select all these keyframes, B to select that, G move them to frame 50, G move these to 60, and now we've got the same sort of 10 frame pace of everything here now. We need to shift the weight, so here, when he takes this step, remember, he can't just bring that forward, that leg. He needs to halfway through here, he needs to have the weight on this one, and it probably comes up a little bit. His pole target needs to go there. Oh, he's nearly bumping into the building there now. So there we go. Boom. Boom. Okay, and I think I'm starting to rotate him back first, so I think he should still probably tilt forward on this one. On frame 40 here, you should still be a little bit forward, I think. So, when he comes here... Yeah. Okay, it's not great, but never mind. But now he's gonna start swinging to punch through as well, so... Rotate. Rotate. And the arm's gonna start coming through here as well. Okay, let's see. Whoa. Okay, it's not fast enough, I think. So. so frame 70 here now. We have to pretend we know what's going on here now. G moving forward even more. He can like lean into the building or something. No, he can't. G, that would be cheating because I just don't know what I was supposed to do. And this leg now. Remember, he can't move that on. So I can learn from my lesson here. Control C to copy it. I'll move it to there. He's not allowed to lift it from here unless he should be jumping or something. So I copied the keyframe to there and here we can lift it again. So G, well, let's try to keep it outside the building here. It would have been cool to have him, his knee like wreck the building too a little bit, but I'm not gonna go, I can't really go too detailed. Okay, he just flipped his leg there. Just dislocated his knee. But I can have him at least here. There we go. That looks ridiculous. So we need to move his pelvis forward. Okay, I think he should have stepped even further. So we'll bring this foot up here. And on frame 60, I'm actually going to bring it forward. And bring the pelvis forward. There we go. He needs to come in with some more speed. Okay. He can't really step forward with this leg before he punches. So I'm gonna copy that, take it away, or copy it and take it away. No, I can't. But we'll have to do the punch now. Bam. Let's see. Okay, so here we should have the punch now. So I'm just gonna animate it through the building for now. Rotate that, and we'll go forward to frame 70. Here I'm gonna try to do a little bit more expression, so. Rotate that, follow through with the hips. Rotate that, and punch through. And remember what I said about follow through, that you should like not just stop at the building, just follow through there. So it hits through, but now I saw that I didn't have any arm animation, so he's gonna start rotating the underarm here or the hand before so maybe around this frame i can just cheat a little bit and put a few keyframes there okay 
that's a terrible punch and I know why and it's because he needs to step in probably more towards the building so we'll G and here we'll move this leg in there follow through even more here it rotates said when we can have the tail whip around or something there we go Okay, and he can't just keep the... He'll have to do something with his right arm now. So maybe he uses that for leverage to spin around now as he comes. And he can actually knock this building maybe with that arm. Oh no, he misses it. Maybe he can punch with the a right arm after, yeah. So I'll come back and swing. Let's swing with this arm now on his way out as he comes away from the building. So step down. Here we are. We have to keep this foot planted now until at least frame 80, but we can rotate it. Okay, so control C, skip forward to 80, control V, but we can rotate it out, rotate Z. This one is going to come forward again, but out a bit. This leg is going to move forward. He's just going to carry on walking now like nothing happened. And we need the pole targets with this. Pole target and pole target. And here now we can rotate the pelvis. Rotate the spine. He's going to come back now and swing with this arm. Rotate. 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 And look for the next target here, maybe. Boom. Boom. Comes through there. Now he needs to... So, <clears throat> now that you can see here that the weight is... As he's... Okay, I need to... His pelvis there is stuck for a few frames, so that's no good. Or his root bone. So I'll just move it a little bit. So it's not totally static. There we go. Pam, pam. But he, he needs to lean into it. When he follows through, he, he shouldn't just, like, do that and smash back. I should probably copy all the... Oh. I've got a frame here on the 70. There we go. The arm here, I'm going to have that on still follow through a little bit in that direction as if it carried on there. So, because it wouldn't just stop flapping about, it'll like, after he turned, it would have kept rotating a little bit. Ooh. Control that. Nearly, I think I deleted it nearly. So we'll follow through with that rotation a little bit like this. And that arm, we can actually, before he swings, I'll move that one back a little bit, as if he's loading up with this arm still. And then there comes the punch. Wabam! So here I'm going with the sound effects again, so... He's looking for a new target, and this arm needs to come out now. And he needs to come out fast, so... All again, like the balance and stuff again. So, it <laughs> sounds like I know what I'm talking about. I have no idea. So, that followed through. I need to even carry on a little bit further. It was too, too fast. G. Follow through. There you go. So, punch with the left arm. Follow through a little bit. Load up with the right. Punch through there. I don't know if there's going to be anything to punch there when it's fractured, but we'll find out. And then uh, that's looking weird because we need to come out now with his body. So that foot is in the air. We'll plant this foot now on, and he had to, I, I'm only gonna knock two buildings, I think, because it's taking a long time to animate. So 
Now we'll uh, rotate this foot, z-axis, rotate here. He'll have to pick up the pace a little bit now. And we've got some contortion problems here again. It's because his pole target here is... Oh, it's under the ground, that's why. Okay, that should have been fixed. Then realized they were so low. Below the belt. So it looks like a ballerina now. There we go. So we need to move these pole targets up from underneath here, I think. Oh, they weren't too bad, actually. It was here that I managed to swing them down by mistake. There we go. So that leg, uh, he has to move his pelvis out now. And here on frame 100, it can come out even more. And for that leg to be planted there, it should be lifted in the air so we can actually come. Okay, he's checking out the other side here. He's going to start scooting across. So this leg needs to be planted by now. And here we shift the torso out. He's going to come across now. So this leg needs to come. And that's planted to there so we can start lifting it. It's going to come on frame 20 frames here. It's going to be all the way over here now. Rotate set. Rotate. We have to change just this pole target here. Oh, that's the wrong one. So I'll do the foot plant here, I think. So he, by this frame, he should already be here, I think. Okay, so he flies there with the foot. That's interesting. And that's because it's planted there and it slides to there. Why does it slide? Okay, he's not allowed to move it, first of all. So that leg can't be there until 120. That's planted there. So this one needs to stay here until frame 100. Oh, he's leaping across now. So that's breaking the rules a, a bit because he's not really meant to have his... <laughs> but it's nearly that he's moving at that pace that he could be leaping. So, but it's not looking good. So rotate, said, rotate, rotate. Let's see. Maybe I'll have to fast forward some of this. Otherwise, this will be the longest uh, 10 minute modeling challenge ever. So there we go. He's not really allowed to lift this foot until this frame. So control C, control V. Why is that one in the air? Oh, it's too far, that's why. So it's in the right place, but the pelvis has moved too far. That's why. And we'll rotate the foot. Rotate. We can rotate it while it's on the ground at least. So here we got a problem with the pelvis because it's too stationary. They're starting to move forward. Okay, I think I'm only gonna smash two buildings. <laughs> Rotate, sad. Rotate. Okay, so now halfway through this one, he needs to lift this leg a little bit better. So. Okay, and he needs to shift the leg, the weight over to that leg before he can lift that leg so plant shift oh no that doesn't look any good 
So it's because he needs to come over that leg more with the weight. Still more. Even more. Shift the weight back to this leg. And then here it still needs to wait on that leg as he steps out, I think. And then here we'll plant how long step. So the right foot, remember, we can't lift that until now. So I have to copy and paste this pose here. So that's going to stay there all until now as he drops down there. And now I can lift it so we can move G to move this one. Rotate G to move forward. You can start lifting this leg up a lot. So his pole target needs to come for the knee aim G takes time to animate but it's quite fun I'm gonna fix the tail in a minute as well so okay he's flying there for some reason planted remember we can't move that leg until what's going on here it needs to be planted there control e yeah, i can't move that leg so there step there now we can move him So here, G. Now we can move the leg, I think. G. Up. Hold target, please. Rotate Z. That pull target needs to go there. Rotate Z. And the weight needs to come faster onto that leg now because he's like really lifting it so boom there we go big difference there so now when he plants it down he's got forward motion here so he needs to carry that weight over to that leg now and then maybe he can still rotate a little bit and start smashing that we haven't animated this arm at all so on the way to here he would have been winding winding it up again to smash this building he's winding 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 and then now he's gonna turn the hip in he's winding up here i'm gonna have impact rotate z put your hip into it if anyone's done martial art i used to do taekwondo quite a lot that's how i met my wife actually she did taekwondo so should I look in the camera when I'm talking? Maybe I should. Am I still recording? Why am I hand achy? I'm too concentrated. Okay, we've got some uh, knee issues here again. So we need to fix that. Don't really know why the leg is that contorted. Oh yeah, I knew. Because he's... Okay, I'll... Oh, okay, I twisted that too much, probably. Yeah. All right. Okay, so instead of t twisting the hip too much, I'll have to twist this um, 
spine instead for the punch. Tweak. You need to plant your foot before you leap nearly. There we go, better. But you need to keep moving forward. And you need to start twisting more. And lean forward. Lean backward and lean forward. No, that's not good. And follow through now. You should have already punched by here. So. It comes forward. This leg I'm going to put all the way forward to there I think to the house and then we can lift it higher here He's punching too soon still, so let's try to move these keyframes maybe to here. <laughs> okay. There no. Okay, no. Okay, I need to follow through more, that's all. Rotate. Oh, that's better. Lean into it and drive through. So now I just need not a drive through like McDonald's. Okay, he needs to wind up a little bit more still. I might start to bring back. Yeah. So here, instead of starting to swing, I'm actually going to start winding back here again. So wind back and then boom. Okay, but and then some more twist here still. Rotate, rotate, sad. And then, wah, boom. Okay, and here we need to just still shoot up a little bit more with the pelvis. Wah, boom. And then the follow through here. That's the arm there. And then on the frame 50 here, now we need to keep turning his torso a little bit. Or his spine I'll have to do because the torso got a bit damaged. So. And then th this arm will spin around. But here, before he punch, I'm actually going to bring this arm forward. So he's like using it as momentum. So he brings this arm forward. See there. Brings arm forward. Okay, that's too much. Okay, he brings it back. Hmm. Okay, he's gonna keep it. I think keep it tucked. Shift D, duplicate that tucked post there. And then here we're gonna start swinging it back a bit more. All right. Boom. Okay, so we'll just finish this. Ah, my hand. <laughs> so after that hit now, boom. 
it comes back up. Oh yeah, we have to do the tail as well. So, as he turns now and that arm swings to the back, when he starts turning forward, if you want to put some detail in it, that arm should continue swing back slightly. So as it turns, it drags behind a little bit. And then you can start swinging it forward. To, like gain his breath and as he leans forward he needs to shift his weight back and now I'm gonna do this slower so oh I was on the wrong frame bring that on G so we'll move that I think I missed some keyframes here so I'll just realign them so it leans forward and drops his torso I think lean forward and then maybe arms come down The tail, I just uh, went through it real quickly. I just tried to get it to sort of whip around a little bit, follow the follow throughs, whip around as it turned and then counterbalance slightly. Didn't put too much effort into that one. Now we've got to wreck the buildings as well. Waha! So to, it's only two buildings that we need to wreck and it's uh, I'm switch off keyframing. So control tab to go out of this mode here. So I'm going to separate this building here, P and separate the selection and this is the other one we're going to smash so l and p and this one that is smashed it was a bit small maybe so maybe we'll put a little bit more detail into this building i to inset and these two now i'm going to just fracture these with a the cell fracture uh, add-on so i'm going to do this can be building one building one and then this one's going to be building two building two and then I can go out of uh, back into the UV editing tab here, maybe. And then we'll do uh, object, quick effects, cell fracture. Gonna do noise one, switch off sharp edges and apply split edges here. 0 0.1 margin and 100 limit. Okay. Hide this original one, shift select these cell fragments, tab into edit mode, UV editing, right click, loop select, scale zero on the left side, G, move it to the same color roughly. Okay, I didn't get all of them for some reason. Try again, tab into edit mode, shift select these, tab A, select everything. Now I'll grab all of them. Right click, control, scale, zero on the UV side, G, and move them to there. Pick uh, the first cell here, and then do rigid body, mesh, deactivate, and start deactivated. And then leave it at one kilogram for now. Shift select those, select cell last here. Object, rigid body, copy from active. Animation, go back here. Okay, let's go and change the world settings here. Try to get the physics engine slightly more stable here. So split impulse and one sub step per frame. Okay, and now we need to add a rigid body to this one. 
constraints. Physics, rigid body, passive. Here we'll do mesh as well. And everything else should be all right. Okay, so in order to, I don't know if there's a better way to do this, probably I haven't really done this before. So I think there's a better way to do it, but in order to not have it shatter straight away, I'm uh, upping the damping translation and rotation for these so they stay in place and I've got deactivated. So now I'm going to be animating here. So on frame, it's going to shatter on there on frame uh, 58. So I'm going to animate this now and first I'm going to show this one and then we'll hide all of these. So hide all the fragments here in the viewport, all the cells. And then this one's just showing. So now we'll animate, I'll do I to insert keyframes, insert keyframes to show, disable in viewport and uh, in the renderer. And then on frame 58 here, Oh yeah, we have to actually, I think we have to have keyframes for all of these as well. You can't, unfortunately, hold I. You have to insert keyframes for all of these. Ah. And then on the next frame here, here, I'm going to start enabling them. So we'll keyframe hiding these two. And then we'll keyframe enabling all of these. And I need to do the eye as well. The eye of the tiger. I have no idea what this is going to look like. It might look ridiculous. Could have probably done this with a collection or something. Like uh, animating the visibility of a whole collection. That would have been smarter probably. Oh yeah, I need to enable them first. That's why it was a different color. How long have I recorded now? Two hours and nine minutes. Longest 10 minute video ever. Enable, enable. For all these segments, we actually have to enable the, or take away the drag again, so. 0040 and 0 0.1. 0040 and 0.1. So we'll do. I'll have to do a keyframe here. I, I. So I shift select all of these cells. Control select the last one. So that's the active one. Control L. Make linked animation data and now they all have that to make it a little bit easier as well i'm going to put uh, some boxing gloves on him but i'm going to hide them so i'm going to shift right click here do shift a cube and then i'm going to rotate this into place just so rotate rotate tab into edit mode scale it down just to make his fists like this so this is going to be just like the Wrecking Collider scale. Gee, that should be it. Okay, I think. Tab, and then I'll do Shift D and duplicate that for the other hand here as well. Rotate, rotate, G. So this is this is second boxing glove now. There we go. And I'm going to select this one now and then do uh, constraints here add child of and then here we'll pick armature and we'll put hand dot r this is and then i have to do set inverse so it comes back here and then we'll do the same for this one select this one add child of armature and so hand but here we're gonna have hand l and then set inverse there. And then we're going to hide these two boxing gloves soon. But first I need to uh, get them uh, rigid body. Active is good. Animated we need. 
and that should be it. I think it should be active, but we can put uh, box colliders on these. No, that's no good. Okay, we'll do whole convex will work. Same on this one. We can actually shift select this one and do object rigid body copy from active. And then we'll hide these two boxing gloves here in this uh, in the viewport. There we go. And in the render as well. So now those boxing gloves should uh, hit the, these, hopefully, and uh, wreck them. So dynamic, yeah, convex hull, let's see. Well, let's try to animate this. All right, I'll just uh, do the same for the second building here as well. I'll fast forward this bit, this bit for you. So. Now, final thing, we move the camera as well. So I'll do shift right click here, shift A, let's add a camera there. Shift space, G, move it up, move it back. Rotate, rotate. And then on the left side here, I'm gonna do, with the camera selected here, control alt zero on the numpad. And I'm going to do this thing where you do edit preferences and under key map, I'm going to search for fly. And I've set mine to shift F here like I did in the video for the cities here. So that should be all right. Shift F now I can do. So I'll go to frame one. Try to get a perspective here so we see shift F. Okay, I should change to here. Okay, I need to... Control Alt Zero Shift F Rotate Shift F Back Try to get a perspective here from like the feet Rotate Maybe a little bit of rotation on it there And then I'll do auto keyframing now so I to insert location rotation And then we just here We'll move Shift F Move the camera back Oh, shift F, move the camera back, rotate, shift F, look up. Okay, we should see his arm, I guess. Rotate, shift F. And then here we'll follow along with him, so shift F. So it's a bit ridiculous that the whole building shatters at once, so you'd probably want to do it so it's just like one piece, uh, like the corner that gets knocked down, of course, but lots of uh, room for improvements. So we're documenta documentary filmer here now. And here we'll zoom in and follow the arm a bit, maybe. And then we'll follow along with the camera. Great camera work here. Shift to go faster. And then we'll just move it back and frame it down a bit. All the way back to ground level. Low movement to 
the end. Let's check it out. Okay, that looks a bit weird, but it's okay. Boom. Ah, okay. <laughs> I think we should uh, capture his feet so you can see the hole in the beginning here, maybe. And then go a little bit up closer in the after. If I go even closer here, you won't really see that the whole building is shattering, so that could be a, like, a little trick now. We, remember, we had our robot friend here as well. Armature. I could just hide Polyzilla and show Mecha Polyzilla. And then we have that one instead. So we should do... Uh, I'll, I'll just render it with a low-poly renderer for now. So we'll do uh, rendering here in the renderer. And then go renderer, workbench... Let's go fancy, 32 samples. Texture, shadow, cavity, both, max, 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 max. Do an outline as well. And film, no, we don't need to do transparent. This is where you do transparent if you want to have um, like uh, just transparent background. And color management, maybe we could do filmic is good. Look, high contrast maybe, medium contrast. We'll do. F12 to render one frame. Let's try a different contrast here. High contrast. F12. That looks a bit better, maybe. Let's try a very high contrast. F12. Let's go for that one. And we're going to do the whole animation now, so we're going to output this using the workbench renderer. We'll do a PNG sequence, should we? Yeah, we'll do it. Thank you very much for watching this episode. It was a lot of fun. There's the final animation, and it's quite a lot of fun to do it. Keyframing is always a lot of fun, but it takes time. 260 frames of uh, low polygon pol polyzilla <laughs> to celebrate the 75th episode of the 10 minute modeling challenge. But I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I've got a Patreon page if you want to head over there. Uh, in batches, I upload all of these uh, blend files that I've done through the 10 minute modeling challenge and it's about due that I uh, upload this batch as well. So this is going to be included there if you want to download that one. So thanks again for all my patrons. Thanks for everyone who's uh, watching and subscribing to my videos. Have a great one and I'll see you soon again. Bye for now.